Hey you guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I am finally showing you some plantarier decor content. Get excited because this stuff is really, really fun and you can burn hours so like I've mentioned in previous videos, this channel is pretty new, but I do plan to put out more of these plantarier decor videos to show you how I take a space, redesign it, rework it, and of course, add plants to it. So in today's opening episode of plantarier decor, I'm going to be showing you a small bathroom reno that I had done. I decided to start with this one because it's a small enough space that it's really, really easy to show you how to use the program SketchUp. And SketchUp is free to use software that's available on the internet. You don't even have to download anything. It's all through the web. And it's basically like The Sims, but for adults. Not that The Sims isn't for adults, but it is so much fun, you guys. So for this one, I'm gonna take you to my computer to show you how I redesign a space. All right, let's do it. So here we are on Google and we're just gonna search SketchUp and that will pull up the SketchUp software and you can actually see right there, SketchUp free. So we'll click on that and you can just click start modeling. Okay, so here we are now in our model. So we've got a little lady here, this is Helen. So we'll leave her for now because she just kind of helps us see where we're at size wise. So what I want to do with showing you guys how to use SketchUp is show you how to use the most basic SketchUp because you don't have to go into elaborate detail to be able to visualize and plan the space. Over here, we've got our bar of stuff, eraser, line, push, pull, all these kind of things. Here we've got some stuff for moving around things. These are the tools down at the very bottom for actually navigating. So this guy here will help you spin around. I'll say if you have a mouse, definitely use it. A trackpad is a little trickier. Pan, you'll see, lets you move around like that. Zoom in, zoom out. That seems pretty obvious. You can roll in, roll out. Okay, so I will show you. SketchUp is super intuitive. You want line, click L, there it is. You want to erase, click E. Super easy, so we'll start with the line. Now we can see we've got some colors here. If you start drawing, see it's green. If you start going this way, it'll snap onto the red. And same thing, you start going up, it'll snap onto the blue axis. Okay, so I'm just gonna draw myself a little thing here. There we go, so I've got a little wall now. And I'm gonna import a photo for you guys to show you what my bathroom looked like. So you can drag and drop. Oh, very slowly now. Okay, here we are. Now we will rotate around this image to see. So here is the bathroom space that I'm working with. You can see it's recessed in a little bit and we had some of those nice metal Rubbermaid shelves in. You can see this is a disaster. There's no way to cover all the products, but I'm in an apartment and so all of this stuff, there's nowhere else for it to go. So I needed something that could both store all of my stuff and store it attractively where I'm not just staring at it. And these rubber shelves, they had to go. They just collect dust and they're so hard to clean and they are a pain. So I needed to get rid of those. So I will show you guys how I redraw this space. Now, this is where you wanna get your tape measure out. When I actually did this, I sketched out the whole room because I was having a fun night. It was like The Sims, but I'm only really sketching sketching out the little nook today. Okay, so I'm gonna take you guys over here and we are going to draw this space out. Now I've already taken my measurements and again, you can click over here to get to your lines or you can just click L. I'll start it here. We wanna go on the green axis to get our depth. I've already measured this and I'll show you also really quickly down over here, see where this length is. You can plug in whatever you want. So most of my viewers are from the States. I'm from Canada. We don't use inches and feet, but I will do it for this. So we'll click a point, we'll drag it out, and we will type in the amount. So 18 and one quarter inch, and then I'll just hit enter and it'll go that distance. Now we wanna be on that red axis. And our length here is 34 and three quarter inches. So we'll do that. This one now is 13 and one quarter inch because we're not going the full depth of the door. And then this direction we have 43 and one half inch. There we are. Okay, now we can draw our wall height in. So again, there's our blue axis that we wanna be on and we'll go up nine feet and four inches. Hit enter, there we go. And actually super simple now, all we have to do is just click the spot we wanna go from 
and drag up and it'll snap, see, from point, and then, boom, there's our wall. Same thing up here, it'll snap and to there. Here, up, snap, and here to here, and final one, there we go. All right, so now we have all of our walls in. We can put our baseboards in. We got four inch baseboards, so we're going four inches. And where did our end point go? There it is. All right, so there's all of our baseboards drawn in. Now, for this space, I had a vision, and I thought, so again, here was our old space. I thought if I but ripped out these metal shelves and put in nice wood shelves, that that would fix this and save the day. But I quickly realized that that would not really fix my exposed products problem. Because even if I had pretty wood shelves and nice bins, it's still, it's a bathroom. I just wanted everything nicely tucked away and a way to actually put plants here. So I did some searching. I thought maybe some kind of glass cabinet in here, but same thing. Then you're still staring at your products. So I started to think, okay, maybe some solid product that goes right edge to edge. Does that even exist? And I stumbled upon these God Morgan Ikea cabinets. And I liked this kind of a stained wood color. And I found the matching one in this little wall shelf unit thing. Much smaller, looked kind of nice. So I thought, hmm, maybe if I put the large one and then the small one, and then I could put some plants on them, some plants under the small one. So I thought, all right, let's make sure that these will fit. So how you can make sure that they'll fit is you can go to the actual Ikea page. Essentially all furniture companies are gonna have your product size up on their website. So we can click that, we can see this is it without the legs. It's because you can wall mount it. So I'm gonna account for six inches for the legs because they're adjustable. And we will go, so this was again, four inches, we'll go up another two inches here. And then we are going up 75 and 5 eighths. So 75 and 5 eighths inches. And where does that take us to? End point, there we go. Okay, I'm just gonna draw that really quick so I can keep an eye on it. Now our width of this cabinet is 15 and 3 quarters. Okay, so 15 and 3 quarters inches. There we go, drag this down to the end point. Perfect, so there is the outline of our unit. And now we just need to do the depth, which is 12 and 5 eighths. And I'll show you a quick trick for this. This little button here, push pull, or you can just type P, there we go. 12 and 5 eight inches, there we are. Okay, so now let's just rotate ourselves down. We can see how tall she is there, that looks pretty good. So that fits well. Now we need to see if that other cabinet will fit in as well. So here we've got this wall cabinet. We're gonna scroll down, check our product size. So our width is 15 and three quarters. And how I'm gonna do this is I'm going to line up the two tops. Go in 15 and three quarter inches. Where's my end point? Right there, perfect. So you can actually now just grab an eraser. There we are. Okay, now our height is 37 and three quarter inches. So we're going 37 and three quarter inches. There we are, and to the wall. Now we're gonna do our push pull again to pull ourselves out five and a half inches. So type P and pull, five and one half inches. There we are. Now we can see that looks a lot better. And now that I know that the furniture fits, I'm feeling much more confident about actually purchasing those two furniture pieces. Now, how to fit plants in. So in my bathroom, I have a light fixture hanging from the ceiling about here, as well as a bar vanity just across from these and no windows in here, but you can still grow plants without windows. I have a whole video on that. I'll link it in the description box down below. But what I would like to do is put some kind of plant up here, like maybe a pothos so that it can trail down. There's definitely enough room for a nice little trailing strand or two in there. Maybe stretch it across here, curl some of it up here. And then this right here, looks like the perfect spot for a low light snake plant. So again, this isn't perfect SketchUp. Um, this is not how I would do an actual project, but this is quick and dirty. You need to make sure that stuff works. This is beginner level SketchUp stuff, but it works awesome. So there's no point in being fancy about it. So to color these really quick, we can actually even go into our materials and let's put that kind of similar looking wood 
maybe this one. Oh yeah, that's pretty close. So we can actually even paint these up just to kind of get a general idea. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it does help you kind of get the basics. Like maybe this would be too much wood for me and I'm thinking, okay, maybe not. Maybe I should go with the white or something like that. So I like the look of this. I'm big into greens and browns. So this does not upset me at all. I can also even toss a super basic paint color there. Nothing fancy, shade darker, yeah. Nothing fancy, I my wall color, I really hate it in this apartment, but it's not really worth trying to repaint the whole thing. It's not super far off, like it's kind of a heinous, kind of a cream color. So there we go, that's kind of what that'll look like. And I like it, I'm here for it. And now we've got our components. So we still have Helen in here with us. We can leave her, I guess we don't have to get rid of her. Even more basic, something that I do all the time is I will take this, print it, and then draw on it what I'm thinking. This is such a small space that easily I can drop in some of those 3D warehouse things without having any issue. But if I was doing like a large room, it would probably be worth it to just do my framework and then put my plants on after to try and plan that. So let's search our 3D warehouse for a pothos. We'll click models and look at that. Okay. Now this is kind of the look I'm looking for. Like these are nice, but this will show up the same way. It'll be kind of dragged out. This is kind of going down. So I'll show you what this looks like. Let's put this one in. Whoa, that is a big pothos. Okay, so I'll drop that in. Now, way too large, but let's over here, see this little button where it says move. This lets you do a few different things with an object. So we can rotate it, we can scale it. That's what we need to do right now is scale this. So we're gonna do that, scale it down to something a little more appropriate. And now we're gonna click that again to move it. So if you pivot yourself a little bit to be at a better angle, it's a little easier to move some of these things. Okay, and again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you can kind of get the idea of what I'm planning here. Having a pot here with pothos that kind of trails down. Can move this in just a tiny bit more so that we're not just staring at leaves. There we go, that's pretty realistic. Like a golden pothos trailing down the side of the cabinet. I like that look. Now here we want a snake plant. Let's see what the 3D warehouse has to offer us. Snake plant models. Ooh, I like this one. This is a nice little pot. That looks cute. So I'll bring that one in. Let's see if this is going to be a monster too. Nope, he's more normal, but he's kind of over there. Okay, we'll bring him in. Let's see if he's in the right spot or not. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, that looks nice. I'll scale him down just a tiny bit because he's a little bit tall. Okay, well, I am liking the looks of that. And again, let's compare. Here we have our exposed shelves. And here we have two nice slick looking cabinets, some nice plants trailing down the one, a nice snake plant filling this space here. I like the looks of this. Now fast forward some time and here we have, I'll show you on screen, the finished product. So pretty dang close to what we had designed. It looks way, way better. And I am very, very, very happy with how that turned out. So there is the quick and easy of how to redesign a space in SketchUp. Definitely give it a try. It is so addictive to just look at that space that you have hated for so long, play around with different options, trying all kinds of different furniture and seeing what you really like in that spot. And then of course, the icing on the cake, add your plants in, Helen approves. Okay, so as you can see, the computer generated version of that space is actually fairly similar to how it actually turned out. So SketchUp or even just a hand sketch, it's such a great way to redesign a space. I really like SketchUp because then I'm actually positive of the sizes of things. Because sometimes you put something in a space, it's way too small or it's way too big. I really like SketchUp because then I'm truthfully knowing like, okay, I'm gonna have three inches between those cabinets. Can my pothos trail there? Like I showed you guys, you don't even have to go really heavy on the detail. You can even just create your black and white line work and print that and then hand sketch the rest, which is totally something that I do all the time for whether I'm, it's for work with landscaping or for adding plants to spaces. I'll just put in the very, very basic framework to keep it quick and easy, print that out, three or four copies and try different plant layouts. It doesn't take too long to do, but then you actually truthfully really know what you're gonna get. So we will end this one here. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and that you learned something. 
If you have any questions at all, definitely leave them down below. If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel if this is content that you're interested in. I am moving into a brand new home in a month and there will be tons of these decor videos to come. If you want some planterior decor inspiration, you can follow me on Instagram at planterior decorator. And as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye you guys.